So I chose the field of reproductive medicine mainly for the science. Um, I've always been kind of a science nerd and a biology guy, and um, I think that the science here is just incredible. We're really fortunate to be on the cutting edge of science in our field. Um, especially if you think about genetics, which is kind of a CCRM's niche in terms of genetic testing and what we have coming forward in the next five to ten years in genetics, it just makes me really excited. Interactions with patients. So I would say that obviously when the patients get pregnant, that's really fun. Um, but, you know, even when patients don't have a good outcome, you know, I think uh, we typically get really good feedback from them of, uh, you know, we appreciate you being here with us every step along the way. In my opinion, it starts with listening to the patient. Uh, so, for example, when I have a new patient consult, while obviously I know why the patient's there, they're typically just wanting to get pregnant, I like to start with, how can I help you? Um, and that kind of just gives the patient an open-ended opportunity to tell me their story. Um, you know, and some people uh, just say, well, you know why I'm here, I want to get pregnant, and then we kind of take it from there. But, but other people, you know, want to have a chance to, uh, to give their story, and everyone, in my opinion, does have a story. We start with that, and then another thing that I like to do is go over kind of some uh, wellness points, I would call them. So I like to talk about uh, nutrition with just about all my patients, and I would talk about supplementation, which is important too, and that's what people are, are interested in. Um, we, uh, you know, in our Houston Medical Center office, we're really excited that we now have a social worker, a counselor that we've hired full time. Um, and that just kind of gives the patients a little bit more support as well. So I like to let the patient leave knowing, hey, we're not just talking about giving you medications and all the stuff you've read about online. We want to see you as a whole person. We want to see you as, as a healthy person. And that's uh, both physically and mentally healthy. I'd like to hope that it's listening. Uh, you know, you never quite know, but um, I, uh, I, I kind of pride myself on trying to listen to the patient and, and feel uh, empathy for them and, and, you know, not see them as, you know, just uh, the next person through the door. And, um, you know, I, I really feel that uh, most of our patients have been through a lot. You know, they, um, I'm fortunate my wife's a psychiatrist, so we have this kind of back and forth all the time. And, and she, you know, she even feels that, that our patients, uh, you know, the stress levels and the trauma that they've gone through typically by the time they get to us is, is really difficult. So, um, you know, I think listening to them and, and just being empathetic to what they've gone through before just jumping right into the plan is a, is a really important thing. I would say something I'm really proud of is, is a patient that we had recently that had been to multiple clinics. You know, she started in South America. I see a lot of South American patients because I speak Spanish. Um, <clears throat> she had done a couple of cycles of IVF in her home country. She came to Houston and uh, in total had done 12 uh, IVF stimulations, fresh stimulations, um, with uh, dozens of embryos implanted and had never had a positive pregnancy test. And, we were really fortunate uh, this year that we put her through one cycle at CCRM Houston, transferred one embryo, and she got pregnant. And honestly, just continues to stop by the office. She's probably 25 weeks pregnant now, and she'll drop in every three to four weeks just to say hi and give everyone hugs. And so I think that was really cool. family comes first. Uh, so right now we're in softball season, so uh, coaching my daughter's softball team is probably my favorite thing to do right now. I've gotten into gardening a lot lately and doing yoga and trying to, uh, you know, the same thing that I tell my patients of, hey, we've got to be a whole person. We can't just, you know, do this one thing. We can't just focus on work and trying to get pregnant. We also have to think about, you know, is, is my mind right? Is my body right? And so, uh, you know, I've been trying to, um, stay physically active, mainly with yoga, like I said, and um, uh, trying to take some more time and think and reflect. 